Ladies and gentlemen, calls for Biden to resign are growing exponentially. The man should resign. He's not going to, almost certainly will not. Um, but who knows? The Democrats might say, well, we want President Kamala Harris, um, and he'll do what he's told. This man is not a leader. He's not a leader. He might have been a good human being throughout his life, kind of, somewhat. Um, but according to the allegations against him, he's the same type of human being as the same type of human being they try to portray Kavanaugh and President Trump as being. So you never know with Democrats. They're all over the place. When Biden gets accused, nobody believes. When, uh, when everybody else's, their political rivals face the same allegation, uh, you're, a, you're a horrible human being if you don't believe. They have no value system that they actually abide by. It's always, how can we utilize emotion, our warped, distorted sense of morality, or the moral superiority that, that we claim to have, how can we utilize that to to silence or suppress or harm our political opponents? So Biden's role in this catastrophe, you have Dan Bongino, you have uh, Republican uh, Republicans in Congress, they're all calling for his resignation. Biden's role in this tragedy, this catastrophe, where we have 10,000 Americans who they, the Pentagon doesn't know. So the Pentagon doesn't know how many Americans there are. That's one reason the man should resign. His entire administration doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't. And they tried to do that with Trump. They tried to say, well, um, you know, the Trump administration is pure chaos. It's mayhem. That was the media. The, admi- the, the, the America that Trump presided over was a functioning, prosperous country. We didn't have soaring crime, soaring inflation, and now these were all self-inflicted wounds. Don't say, well, we just had to. Safety and science. No, those are self-inflicted wounds. Look at Sweden. Look at other countries in the world. Not Western countries that just follow whatever we do or, or who knows who knows who's following, who knows who's creating the madness, but the policies that have been enacted by people like Andrew Cuomo and Joe Biden, they're not working at home, and they're certainly not working in Afghanistan. We have the same problems that we faced, um, and they're getting worse every day. Pentagon spokesman doesn't know how many Americans are in Afghanistan. Check out the segment prior to this one and hit subscribe to this channel right now. We're on our way to 200,000 subs. We're over 184,000, and it's because of you. Thank you so very much. The best thing you could do in addition to the super thanks below and to my super thanks, thank you, and there's a, there's my Patreon below if you want to support my work long term. The best thing you could do is um, just tell your friends about this channel this week. If one or two people, if you tell one or two or three people about this channel who might enjoy my work and my thoughts, that would be fantastic. We'll get to 200,000 this week if everyone does that. And... I was just published published in the Jerusalem Post. My opinion piece is below in the pinned comment. And you might find it interesting. Democrats will turn on Fauci before 2022. Share that everywhere. Pentagon spokesman doesn't know how many Americans in Afghanistan. Okay. Why not? Dan Bongino demands Biden resignation. Biden should step down. Um, Ronnie Jackson says Biden should resign, not fit for office. You couldn't find a man more unfit for office. You couldn't find a man more unfit to play checkers. You couldn't find a person who didn't deserve the presidency in terms of, oh, in terms of his uh, past foreign policy decisions, okay? And this man was anointed. Nobody woke up last year and said, even even the most, like, the, the... the person who despised Trump the most on this planet didn't wake up last year to say, oh, well, you know, Biden would make a great president. Nobody's ever said that. They just wanted to spite Trump. And had Biden listened to Trump, <clears throat> followed his negotiated deal, Adam Kinzinger is 100% wrong. This man's like a political opportunist. He's blaming Trump, and you cannot, 
you cannot say that we should have left Americans there forever because it's been a year since a, since a casualty. That is a nonsensical, completely irrational position. It is, you cannot use Americans as chess pieces. The only reason we stationed soldiers in Germany and Japan is because of the Cold War, because of the Soviet Union. We can actually bring them home. The Soviet Union was a threat to uh, invading Western Europe and the Soviet bloc countries. So we had that, that possibility. That was a deterrent. You could say Americans were used as chess pieces there, but mutually assured destruction was the issue. We wouldn't get into a ground war. We wouldn't get into a con conventional military confrontation with the Soviet Union. It would have been WW3 and the end of the world. <clears throat> we have enough nuclear armament to end the planet. So we learned that. That's why when Democrats blamed Facebook ads on Russia and, and the Kremlin and, and, and stoked these, you know, cold, these, these red scare fears deep within our subconscious that just showed how despicable they were. But you cannot leave Americans forever in a counterinsurgency conflict. Japan and Germany were not counterinsurgency conflicts. They had the initiative, the T, the organization that controls, you know, the region outside the Kabul airport with 20 checkpoints where an American mother and thousands of Americans can't get to because of these checkpoints. They, they had the initiative all the time. They had the initiative all the time. They could have ramped up um, an escalation in the conflict at any moment. They could have overrun if 3,000 or 4,000 or 5,000 Americans at any moment if they decided to. And then we would have sent 100,000. And then it would have been the same thing that the Soviets faced and the same thing we faced for the past 20 years. The Soviets lost before we ever got into Afghanistan. The French lost in Vietnam before we got, ever started uh, that that war. So we we don't learn from history. And now you have Kinzinger and now you have others saying, oh, well, Trump uh, should never have pulled out and uh, the withdrawal was the first problem. Like, no, you have to withdrew, withdraw. The country was going to fall. We, knew, we know that. We cannot impose. We're still working on democracy here. <laughs> they, they blamed Trump. We had intelligence agents that set up and framed an incoming candidate. That's not democracy. And if you think that James Comey and Strzok and McCabe and Clapper uh, and Brennan didn't have p a political motive in accusing Trump, you are a gullible and naive person. No matter how intelligent you are, you lack wisdom. Of course these people had a political motive. And of course these people were loyalists to the Democratic Party. If the reverse happened, they would be the loyalists to the Republican Party. These... Okay, Intelligence operatives are not apolitical. <laughs> you could look at the start of all these intelligence agencies. Alan Dulles, he had his own political agenda. All of these people have their own political agenda. If, whether they side with Democrats or Republicans depends on the decade. The intelligence agencies resided with Bush. Now they side with Biden, or they, who knows where they, who knows what they do with Biden. They don't even know how many Americans are there. But, but. Biden's resignation is now, some, it's something that nobody was talking about, nobody could even think was possible. Now, we don't know how, we don't know what could happen tomorrow. Our country is at an all-time low in terms of morale, in terms of, you want to use the, the word prestige in international affairs. We haven't been this low since Jimmy Carter, okay? And... But Biden is not only Jimmy Carter 2.0, he's like a whole new, like, he doesn't know what's going on. This man, nobody believes he knows what's going on. Do you, if you, if you stumbled upon this and you lasted this long and you say, oh my God, H.A. A. Goodman is nuts. Do you think he knows what's going on? Because Trump did. The difference between Biden and Trump is Trump got things done despite not having a government working for him despite being uh, having 92 to 100% negative media coverage. He negotiated a deal to withdraw Americans. We could have evacuated in January. Biden decided not to, simply despite Trump. And that's a fact. And now we're suffering. 
simply because of derangement issues Democrats have with Trump. Give me your thoughts below. The man should resign. He'll definitely be impeached for this and his son's emails. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Thank you. Oh, I'll, I'll either have a live stream or an upload in about a couple of hours.